everyone, Izza here. Do you, like me, love TTRPGs, making things, and have way more dice than you know how to store? Well, then watch this video and learn how to make an adorable Mimic dice box, just like this one. I started by sketching a design for my Mimic dice box. I knew that I would be modifying and sculpting on top of an already existing box to create it. This is the box I used. I bought it from a shop called The Works, but you can also order similar ones online, and it can fit quite a lot of dice. Before I do anything else, I remove the metal latch from the chest as I'm not going to need it. Next, I create my own wood texture on the chest using foam. I cut strips of 2mm foam, then sand down their edges, and glue them onto the chest. I loosely sketched some elements of my design onto the box as a guideline. Then I used a scalpel to carve wood grain texture into the foam. And heated up the foam with a heat gun to make the cut in texture widen and become more visible. I carved this texture over the entire box. Next, I added some more foam to create the metal trim around the borders. Using fabric glue, I added red felt to the inside of the box. This will cushion the dice I keep in it and also look like the inside of the Mimic's mouth. Then I added some small googly eyes along the metal border to create rivets. To create the Mimic's eyes I used Cosplay Flex and this pre-made domed mould. Cosplay Flex is a safe, meltable plastic. I poured some down onto a container on top of a heatproof mat and melted it with my heat gun. After melting it, wait a few minutes for it to cool slightly and it will become malleable and putty-like. At this point, I could put it into the mould and leave it to set. Once it's set, I remove it from the mould and I have a hard plastic dome that will become one of the Mimic's eyes. I made one large eye for the centre and four smaller eyes to go around it. I trimmed off the excess plastic from the domes and hot glued them onto the chest. I then added on the little design around the central eye in foam. To sculpt the rest of the Mimic, I used resin clay from Coscraft. This is an air drying clay that will dry tough and resilient, which allows me to sculpt directly onto the chest. No mold making or casting involved. I started by sculpting around the eyes. I also carved wood grain texture into the clay as I was working, so it would look like the Mimic's features were made from the distorted wood of the chest. Once the eyes were done, I sculpted fangs for the Mimic and attached them to the chest.
I then propped the chest open and sculpted gums over the teeth. When the resin clay was fully set, I coated it in a few layers of Mod Podge. This will give the entire mimic a harder coating and act as some extra binding over all the disparate parts like the foam, the clay and the plastic eyes. After the Mod Podge is dry, I can finally start painting. I start with a yellow base for the eyes, which took a few layers. and then a base for the teeth of white and buff titanium. I also added shading to the teeth in burnt umber and dry brush white over them to highlight. Back to the eyes again, I mixed the yellow with a deep red to add an orange gradient to the eyes. Next, I taped over the teeth so I could paint the gums in a glossy purple paint. While waiting for that to dry, I added more details to the eyes like a red border and painting on the pupils. I'd also made a scar through one of the eyes, so for this one, instead of painting a pupil, I dabbed on a layer of white paint to give the impression that the mimic was blinded in this eye. I then dry brushed a white and purple mixture over the gums to highlight them a little, sealed them, and then covered them in tape as well. At this point, I also remembered that I should have taped up the felt inside the box a very long time ago, and finally did that. It's okay though, I managed not to ruin it. With the other sections safely covered, I painted a black base over the rest of the box. Followed by a base layer of burnt umber. This included on the metal section, as brown makes a good warm base for gold. Next, I painted the wood grain sections. I started by dry brushing raw sienna. I then layer dry brush burnt sienna over the top of that. and then a layer of buff titanium. This is the same painting technique for wood grain as I used in my Raven Clan shield video, but on a much smaller scale. I layer up different dry brush brown tones to create the organic texture and colors of wood grain. After that's dry and sealed, I paint on a layer of black wash into the gaps and crevices to shade it, and wipe most of the black paint away. I seal it again and cover the wood sections in frog tape as well so I can paint the metal trim. I started with a layer of bronze. and then I dry brushed gold over the top of that.
After that's dry, I do a wash with raw umber, a darker brown. And wipe most of it away to create some definition and shading. And then I do a black wash as well for even more defined shading. And then I dry brush some more gold paint back over the top to knock back the black wash and bring back some of that golden shimmer. And with all the painting done and sealed, I can finally remove all these layers of frog tape to see the almost finished mimic underneath. When I'd removed all the frog tape, I did some minor touch-ups on the teeth and eyes. I also added some black shading between the teeth and the gums. And to seal this bad boy up once and for good, I used Mod Podge again. For the wood grain and teeth, I used the regular matte Mod Podge. But for the eyes, gums and metal sections, I used Gloss Mod Podge so it would still have a nice sheen to it. Then I removed the frog tape from the felt inside the box. And my Mimic dice box was complete. Being me, I decided to name it, of course, so everyone meet Mimi the Mimic. And of course, I had to give her some tasty dice to eat. I mean, store very, very carefully. This Mimic Dice Box is something I've wanted to make for a while now, so I'm really happy that I've finally done it. Um, I had the idea back in like last spring or summer, but just didn't really have the time to work on it. So I thought that this would be a nice chill, small build to get me back into the creative process again after the holidays, with the added benefit of now having another cool place to store some of my many, many dice. Wait, that also means I can now buy more dice. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more cosplay and crafting videos from me, then subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at EvilCleverDog. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.